Oh, look at this, a little, uh, little bonus video for a Sunday. A couple of things I want to say. Um, I've had a couple of emails. I'll try to turn my blowers down a little bit so you can't hear them. I've had a couple of emails. One, I should be more kind to Tesla and Elon Musk. And two, I should be more kind to Jaguar Land Rover. Uh, quick anecdote before I get into those two things. I had another dental emergency yesterday. Some of you who follow the channel will know that I had a dental emergency on Christmas Eve. One of my teeth fell apart. And same thing happened yesterday. So yesterday, at short notice, I had to jump in my car and drive 40-odd um, miles down the motorway to go and get my tooth patched up again. So if I'm talking a little bit strange, that's why. Uh, and I don't think I really said this on YouTube, although I did make a video about it last time but never actually posted it. I'm glad I had a diesel car outside and one with an automatic gearbox because it meant that I didn't need to worry about has my car got any charge because when an emergency happens you want to be able to just jump in your car and go and that's really when you want a petrol or a diesel and that's kind of in line with this hire car thing you know the reason you hire a car is because you want a car and you don't want an electric one because they're impractical and they don't really work as motor vehicles but the flip side of that is I should be being nicer to Tesla because Elon Musk is on our side. Elon Musk obviously purchased Twitter, wants to keep it as a platform for free speech. And if I bash Tesla, then I bash Elon Musk. And if I bash Elon Musk, then we're gonna impact his share price. And if we impact his share price, he's gonna lose his power and influence and money. I'm on the fence with this one to some degree because I don't know whether Elon Musk is like a paid shill. Is he the... Um, the sort of hero, anti-hero that we've been given? Is he the anti-hero that we have been played into supporting because he's anti-establishment, but he's not anti-establishment, so I don't know. However, if there is anything in that, then should we be being kinder to Tesla? I'm all right with that, okay? I don't need to hate on Teslas because I think we should have, we should have stuck with a position where Teslas are electric. That's a company that started out only making electric cars. So why not just leave them to it? Why did not all the other car manufacturers go, well, if Tesla are doing that, we're not. But if it works for Tesla, then that's fine. They can crack on. Um, but then there's a question of government subsidies and all this move to electric and installing charges and who pays for that if there's only one company that's doing it. Um, but I always found it odd that we started to move to electric cars to save the planet and yet we had multiple providers of electric car charging points. That makes no sense. So what do you think? Should we be nicer, nicer to Elon Musk and more supportive of Tesla and what they're trying to do? Or do you think we should continue to tell it as it is? I do think there's major questions around subsidies and who's paying for this stuff because I know a lot of taxpayer money goes to propping up the electric car thing. However, if Elon Musk is this hero of the people, then I'm happy to lay off. Um, like I said, I wouldn't mind a world where you had petrol and diesel cars and then you had Teslas. I'd be okay with that. I do think everyone else should just stop making them because no one else is making them. If, if electric cars are good, then Tesla are the best ones. That's what everybody says. So everybody else should just stop. Stop making them. Um, and just leave it to Tesla. Second thing, uh, should I be kinder to Jaguar Land Rover? I had an email from someone saying, Jeff, you need to stop bashing Jaguar Land Rover. Think of the livelihoods. Will someone please think of the, the people, not the children? Um, and should I be kinder to Jaguar Land Rover? As I've said in most of my videos, I don't wake up in the morning and scroll through my phone and think, right, how can I further take down Jaguar Land Rover today? And I don't feel a, a like moral duty, a moral sense of Britishness to try and pretend that the products that they're making and the service that they're providing is good just because I think the company should carry on. I have a good friend who works at JLR, my brother works at JLR. Uh, however, I would say this to both of them and neither of them drive JLR products and I don't think either of them would, which also says, quite a lot. So should I be kinder to JLR because they're a British brand? Um, I don't mind the JL 
part of that. I don't mind Jaguars. I actually saw a Jaguar XF Estate yesterday when I was at the shops and it was like a purpley colour with some nice wheels on it and a beige interior. And I thought, you know what? That's a really fine looking car. Um, so I don't mind the Jaguar part as such. I don't, I don't mind the Land Rover side. It's the R part that I have a problem with. And the more, the further I go along my YouTube journey, the more and more I hate Range Rovers. I am becoming, you know, like Mr. Bean with his three-wheeler thing. And if Mr. Bean sees a three-wheeler, he like has to chase it and knock it over. I, I'm getting to that stage with Range Rovers, particularly brand new, full-size, full-fat ones, because I just feel like they are total. It's kind of ironic that I'm driving a BMW X5, but this car was a thousand pounds, and it's just ticked over to 220,000 miles. Um, as I said, these big, gaudy, as expensive as a house, as big as a house, as heavy as a house Range Rovers, I, I am really loathing them more than ever. So I, I'm okay with the J and the L part, but I, I really, really detest Range Rovers. And on the insurance front, I couldn't care less if nobody can insure a Range Rover ever again. It really doesn't bother me at all. I don't care if every single Range Rover in the country uh, gets stolen and put in a container to go to Albania. Um, apart from the L322s, and only if they're in a nice specification with a sensible set of wheels. Everything else, all of the SVRs, all of the overfinches, and every Range Rover Sport, stick them in a container, ship them off to wherever they need to go. Not bothered. Uh, that's where I'm at. So will I stop bashing Jaguar Land Rover just because it's a British company? It's not, it's owned by India. And someone said to me the other day, and it's difficult to say this without, again, without appearing racist, but if let's say the values in India and the values in Indian, the way Indian culture is, if the values in those things are a certain way, it's gonna leach down through the business. So a sort of that'll do, that's close enough attitude that comes from the top will then filter down to the rest of the uh, the business. But it, it, I find it odd that the dealers consistently, Jaguar and Range Rover and Land Rover dealers are all consistently bad. Like every story that I seem to hear about your experience with the dealerships is mostly negative and I don't see any other you know when you get these news stories when it's like man buys Range Rover and then he stickers it all up and parks it on the street outside the dealership to say do not buy a Range Rover do not buy from this dealership and that's happened more than once but you don't get that with other with other brands and other companies and other cars do you it does seem to be exclusive to Range Rover so now I, I don't feel the need to stop with my anti Range Rover crusade because, um, terrible junction that. I don't feel the need to stop with my anti Range Rover crusade, but I am happy to lay off on the Tesla thing if Elon Musk is actually the savior of the people. However, if he is just another planted stooge, as he probably is, that has been put in place to lead us down the wrong path, then maybe we do need to take him down. But if we take down Elon Musk, then who've we got? The, you know, the, the sort of freedom movement, freedom of speech, freedom of movement movement doesn't really have any spearheads, does it? Uh, there isn't really anyone that we can look to who's gonna save us. Maybe that's because there isn't anyone coming to save us and we have to save ourselves. I think that may well be the case. Uh, interesting videos coming up next week. I've got lots of stuff in my inbox to deal with. In fact, my inbox was overflowing this morning. Loads of stuff has come in overnight. Uh, I will try and make a funny video later today about this electric hybrid ferry thing that's gone on in Scotland. Have you heard about this? Nicola Sturgeon uh, wanted to spearhead the green ferry movement, so ordered some diesel hybrid electric ferries, which have massive, I mean, we're talking huge batteries, uh, which have failed already. And now the, the ferries are only running around on diesel power and using more diesel because they're lugging the dead weight of dead batteries. So little slice of genius there from the green movement in Scotland quick video as I'm running around because I've run out of gas. 
not in my car for my cooker. So I need to go and arrange some, some new gas. But we're not gonna be allowed to cook on gas in the future, are we? If the green zealots and the world economic people have their way, we'll all be, what will we be cooking on? Electric. We're all gonna be cooking on electric and in, not in a heat pump, what's the other one? An air fryer. What do you think about air fryers and heat pumps and electric stoves? Because for me, cooking on gas and cooking on coal, absolutely the way it should be. Oh, last thing, my solar panel video that I put up yesterday, there was quite a lot of like, not hate, that's the wrong word, but there were a lot of opposing opinions in the comments about solar panels. But be that as it may, one of my favorite points was, you cannot make a solar panel without coal, because without coal, you cannot get the furnace hot enough to melt the silicon that's needed for the glass. So again, the green movement just proves that it really isn't very green. But I can recommend, go and have a read through all the comments on that solar panel video that I put out yesterday, because it's pretty educational. And if many people were saying that, oh, the guy that wrote it hasn't got any credentials, all right, I'm happy to say that was something that I found on the internet and I just thought I'd share it with you. If you don't like it, then please post in the comments, but you can't just like take the mick out of someone because he's told you that he's a pilot or a glider pilot. You need to then give an educated response as to why the points that he's making are invalid. It seemed to me that the solar panels reflecting heat and attracting cold and all that. Blimey, that Range Rover was going fast. Obviously off to a shipping container. Uh, it seems to me that the, the solar panel stuff does seem to make a lot of sense. You know, you're literally putting a panel in front of the ground and blocking the sunlight and the heat from getting to the ground. It's all being absorbed in the panel and I, I don't see that that can be good. Yes, tarmac and roads and all the rest of it. Um, but what would you do? Just remove everything that man has ever made and removed all the humans to save the planet? It's almost like that's the plan. Uh, thank you very much for watching this rambly Sunday video. Sunday school with Jeff. Jeff's, I'm not gonna call it a Sunday sermon because uh, Richard Tice has already done that one. And I don't know where I'm at on reform. I think they might be our only hope. But again, if they're our only hope, is he just another planted stooge? Because I know that uh, reform and Richard Tice had some interesting things to say about the needles. I had to have a needle yesterday in my tooth. First needle I've had in a very long time because I will go out of my way to have no further needles if I can do what I can to stop any strange needles coming for me and my family. And if I have to fight someone to make that happen, then so be it. But maybe Elon Musk is on my side. Maybe he's on your side. Maybe you don't agree and we should all get a Tesla and a Range Rover and drive off into the sunset or any country that is quite happy to go up against the World Health Organization. Round the houses on that one. As I was driving past all the houses, thanks for watching.